Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I've been doing some little jobs for somebody else. Now what I'm going to do is start machining the parts that fit onto the boiler. And the first one I'm going to do will be this manifold. So I'm going to mount this in the milling machine and then just skim that off nice and flat. I've already checked for squareness on this and as you can see it's a little bit higher on the back side there. So I'll just skim that first and then we'll go from there. Right, as you can see, I've got that set up in the milling machine. I'm just going to skim, take some light cuts just to flatten that off. Right, that's that face machined. Now I'm going to jig this up so I can machine the curve of the boiler in here, which is four and three quarter inch diameter. So let's do that next. Right, as you can see, I've got that clamped down tight onto the milling machine. What I've done is I turned a disc the same diameter as part of the boiler that that's going to be mounted to. And you can see the scribe line. So I've got to machine. I'll get the boring head on there now. A machine to that line there. It's the same way I did the bottom of the chimney bracket that goes onto the smoke box and the bottom of the generator bracket and it worked perfect. So I'm using the same way. Right, so I've just started cutting down. You can see the mark underneath there. I've just adjusted the uh, boring head a little bit. I'm just going to go down slowly. One more cut, that'll be that one finished. Right, that's lovely. Try that on there. And that's a perfect fit. Right, that's the saddle that'll fit on the boiler nicely. Right, if you look at the drawing, that's the plan view of this here. That hole, which you can see through there, we have to drill through here so it goes up the middle of this part here so the steam from the boiler goes up to there and then if you're looking at the front face you've got a tapped hole for an injector so I'm going to you've got to drill that hole there through the middle of this part So it'll be round there somewhere. So that lets the steam up through and out to the injector. 
and the next two holes are for the water gauges so what we've got to do then so if my water gauge is going to go in there and one in there we've got to drill that hole there to meet up through there and then drill that hole and tap it so it meets up if that makes any sense to then when you drill that hole and then plug that hole with a little tapped if you look on there there's two little plugs that way then you get the internal steamways it looks a bit complicated I don't think it is and then there on the top of there that's going to be an eighth hole to solder in the pipe that goes to a little uh, pressure gauge it sounds a bit complicated but as we go on I'll show you so I'm going to mark out the bottom drill that hole and I may even just drill the fixing holes which then let that fit onto the boiler right I don't know if you can see that that middle hole there is going to be drilled down to that depth there and then on that end there that hole there will be drilled through there to meet up with this cross hole that's the two holes I'm going to drill next right I've just drilled that first hole through the bottom now what we've got to do set it up and drill that hole there Right, I'm just about to drill this hole down to that bend there. I've set the stop, so hopefully it would be right. That should go down and meet the first hole I've drilled. Right, that's down to the stop. Hopefully that's gone through to the other hole. I'll just take that out and check. Yes, it has. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But it does. It meets up to that hole there. Good. That's that hole drilled and that hole drilled which meets through to the bottom there. That hole will be tapped for the injector valve. Right, the next two holes I'm going to drill, you can see I've marked that hole there and that hole there. What I've got to do is drill around the back there, through there and come out at that hole there. And the same on this side, through the back there, and then come out there. Right, I'm just going to drill down through there, so it breaks out through this first hole I drilled here. I've already done one side. Let's take that out of there. Right, so on here, I've drilled that hole to that hole where it meets in the corner there. Now I've drilled through the back here at the angle so it breaks through to the middle, both sides. Now what I've got to do is drill these two holes there, which that'll meet up 
inside there and then later on we'll put a plug in to block these two holes up right so I'm just about to drill this hole so it breaks out inside that hole There she is. Right. Right. So all these holes meet inside there. These two holes later on, I'll be tapping those and silver soldering a plug in there. These two will be tapped for the glass water gauges. This one's tapped for the injector pump. Now I've got to drill this hole one eighth through there to meet up that hole again. And that will be for the pipe to the pressure gauge. So I'll just do that. Right, that's all the drilling done. I've also drilled the fixing holes that will bolt this onto the um, boiler. Next thing I'll do is I'll tap all the necessary holes and bung these two holes up here with a plug. Right, I don't know if you can see there, I have actually tapped those holes, tap those two holes. These two will be bunged up with a little plug. But unfortunately I haven't got the material to make the plugs on there. So that'll be another day. So when that's mounted on the traction engine. They call that the manifold. That'll be bolted onto the boiler. There's a hole in the bottom there. So what will happen is the steam goes up through there and the way it's drilled comes through there. And then the way that's drilled, the steam in there goes up. That hole will be to a small pressure gauge. And all these holes are in connected. These two will be a glass water gauge. On the boiler there'll be there's another uh, tapped fitting. And that is going to be a bend to a flange coming out of there, which then will go to an injector pump, which then lifts the water from I think it is the tender which will be on the back. That's the tender side plate. There's a water tank here. It's from there to pump the water from the tender into the boiler through some other pipes so the steam will come out there and run the pump. So as you can see I've just placed it in there. It'll be fitted on the boiler under there and this is the output of it. That fits in there and that fits in there. We'll have a glass water gauge going up to those two holes there. So if I just place my drill there, that'll be from there. That'll be a glass tube with connections on the top and bottom going to the manifold. And from that bottom hole there, it'll come out with a bend, go to a ball valve, which then pipes run into a connector plate. In the next video, I'll be machining the waste shaft bracket. There's a little bit more involved, but I'm working my way from the back. 
machine this ready for marking the holes for the uh, bushes that have got to be silver soldered in the boiler and then it'll be the cylinder block there's a lot of work to go in there that'll be interesting please subscribe to my channel and join me as i build a two inch scale fireless showman's traction engine